Naval railgun. The projectile travels 5,600 miles per hour. That's Mach 7. You see this thing right here? This is more or less a rifle that fires a bullet. Okay? As we said before, this has a range of 125 miles. Right? It's right here. We showed the video. They even pointed out. They themselves, the ones that designed the railgun, are just show, they're showing you a shot from Washington to Philadelphia. What's this number here? 125 miles. So we could put that to bed, right? It doesn't even matter. We can go down to 110 miles or, or 100 miles. It makes no difference. So, this is a line of sight weapon. They're not going to say it's a line of sight weapon because it's inherent. They're not going to tell you that a rifle is a line of sight weapon because it's a duh because it's a rifle, right? We're putting the, we're going to put the railgun 100 feet above sea level. That's right off the deck of a destroyer or a cruiser. And I'm even given the benefit of the doubt with this because I think it's much lower. And according to Mark, it's like 30 or 50 feet. So I'm given 100 feet. So more than enough breathing room here. So, as I said before, a target at 125 miles, we can go ahead and pull off the calculator. Right? So the distance is 125 miles. The viewer height, or the height of the railgun, is 100 feet above. Above the deck, above sea level. So we're going to calculate again. So the horizon distance is 12.25 miles. The hidden amount is 8,476 feet. The key, the key one here is this bulge height. And like I said, you go down here. This is where the railgun is on the ship. So this bullet has to go from here to the target at 125 miles. So, let's employ some actual science. So, like I said before, we went over this uh, a few times in past videos, the null hypothesis. To do a hypothesis test, you will, have, you will actually have two hypotheses, the null and the alternative, which are stated in such a way that they are mutually exclusive. Makes sense. The null hypothesis, hypothesis is the conclusion that is considered the default. You will accept this hypothesis if you fail to find sufficient support for the alternative, alternative hypothesis, right? So, the null. If the Earth is flat, then shots taken with a line-of-sight weapon, a non-self-propelled projectile, it's a bullet, will not be limited to the Earth's curvature. Bulge and target hidden amount to effectively engage targets for said distance and elevation according to the alleged curvature which we've just shown. This is the ball earthers hypothesis. They need to validate this. By validating this, they falsify this. Make sense? This is their hypothesis. If the earth is a sphere with a circumference of 24,901 miles with a radius of 3959, 
Then shots taken with a line of sight weapon. It's a non self propelled projectile, i.e., bullets will be limited to the air's curvature, bulge and target hidden amount to effectively engage targets. So they need to prove this one, validate this hypothesis, whereby falsifying the null. They have to, you have to falsify the null. Thank <laughs> you.